Okay, today we're going to talk about the Pathfinder tool. And the Pathfinder tool is going to give us more flexibility in modifying things like type, shapes, even some of the image traced images that we've been uh, taking photographs of and then tracing into Illustrator. So this really can give you a lot more options as you're working through on your projects. Now, if you can't find the Pathfinder tool, you can go to Window. And there it is, Pathfinder. So go ahead and click it, and then this, this window should pop up. Now we're only working on the Pathfinder part of the Pathfinder window here. So we're working with Divide, Trim, Merge, Crop, Outline, and Minus Back. Okay? So let's start out using that with some type here. I've gone ahead and typed Hello. And I also expanded it. So let me walk that back just to show you what that looks like. When you type something into a text box in Illustrator, it's just a regular text box as if it would be in Photoshop as well. So what you need to do is go to your selection tool, draw a box over the top, and go to Object, Expand. You'll get the, op the options of Object and Fill. You want both of those, so click OK. And now you can see that we have very tight paths around each of the letters, and that's going to help us as we go forward modifying this text. All right, so now I can start using my Pathfinder tool, or my Pathfinder modes, I guess. Um, now, Pathfinder doesn't work on its own. You have to use some tools over here with it uh, for most of the things that you'll be doing. And we're going to start out with Divide, and with Divide, the easiest tool to use really is the line segment tool. And it's not the only tool to use. You can also use the pen tool, but the line segment tool is a really easy way to divide up things that you are uh, trying to separate, whether they be shapes or a word or a letter. So I'm going to go ahead and try to separate some different parts of this H. So I'm going to take the stem and I'm going to separate it from this curve, and maybe I'll even draw another line segment in there to separate that out. So when I'm drawing my line segment, I want to make sure I draw it completely through the area that I want to separate. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw another one here so you can see what happens when you draw more than one. It looks like the last one disappeared, but it didn't. So when we go to this next uh, step, you'll see that. The next step that you want to do is go to your direct selection tool, so that's that white arrow. You can get there by hitting A too, that's the keyboard shortcut. And I'm going to draw a box over the entire letter, and you can see that both of my line segments have reappeared there. So now all I have to do is click on Divide. Notice what happened when I did that. The ends of the line segments disappeared, but you can still see a line there. That line is indicating that we have separated these parts of the H out. Now, there are reasons that you might want to do that. Uh, there's obviously being able to move and separate these different items, but you could also just use that to go in and recolor different parts. So that's just one way that you can kind of create these divisions. Now, this comes in handy, especially when you're creating a drawing that you photograph and then image trace into Ill Illustrator, because oftentimes that drawing is in one color and if you want to go and separate different parts of that drawing out to recolor it, this is a great way to do that. And again, you can use the line segment, you can use the pen tool as well, so experiment with that as you're going along. Now our next tool, or our next mode here, is the trim mode, and I'm going to show you how you can use a shape, actually, to trim. So you can place a shape above text, you can place a shape above another shape, or another drawing, all of these options are possible, but today we're just doing it in front of text. And I'm using the star shape. I'm going to draw a little star shape here and move it so that it's over the E. And I'm going to go to my direct selection arrow, draw over my entire uh, section here that I would like to uh, use the uh, trim mode with. And notice right now that I have these paths that are going through the shape. Now, notice what happens when I hit Trim. Those paths disappear, and now I can take just the star, move it out, and you can see that I have this perfectly uh, trimmed shape of a star inside of that E. So there's lots of different options for you to use this tool. Again, you don't have to use it over text. You can use it over other shapes, so experiment with that as you're going along. Now the next tool is a merge tool, and we can use this, let's say I want a little star to kind of be coming out of this H, but be part of it. 
So I can do the same thing that I did over here with the E, only instead of cutting out of this shape, it's actually going to become part of that shape. So if I hit merge, you see now this is its own little thing that has a little star sticking out of the end of that. So that can be a great option for building shapes up too. So if you wanted to make something that looked like a cactus, you could take a bunch of these star shapes, merge them together, and then they would be in, make them green, and that would look kind of like a cactus. So that gives you another option. So we were on divide, trim, merge, let's crop. This is kind of fun. So if you have something like this word hello, but you would like to have it within another shape, um, or say, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my blob brush here, and I'm just going to kind of draw some funky colors. Oops. Let's try another color here, maybe blue. Okay. So... And one, let's just do one more, purple. And I'll take my brush down and just kind of do something like that. So now here I have all of these colors, these kind of fun textures. Let's say I want to have those in a polygon shape. So now I'm going to go back to black, draw my polygon shape. Ah. Careful a little wild with polygon shape and I'm going to put that right over the area that I'd like to crop into that shape and then I'm going to draw again with my arrow draw over the entire thing now I can go in and crop and ta-da that's what you end up with now you'll notice too that you can still see all of the individual paths of these different parts so I could go in and just delete out one of those and have this negative space too, so that's possible. You can also go in and modify any of these anchor points still. So it just gives you, again, some fun ways to modify shapes and text that you're using. You could also crop the word hello into things like that. So outline mode, you're not going to use a whole lot, but it basically takes, I'll try another shape here takes whatever you are trying to modify and turns it into an outline. So sometimes this is useful if you just want to see what your paths actually are and then you can kind of go back again. Um, but it does give you some different options. Now the last one that we have is minus back. So uh, if I wanted, let's say I took this polygon and I made it a lot bigger. And I wanted the hello to be kind of a negative space inside of this polygon. I could put the polygon in front of the hello and then minus back, and there you go. So that's really fun too. Um, so hopefully you can see how you can use the Pathfinder and all of the different modes to modify some of your shapes and type in Illustrator. Have fun with it. Experiment. There's many more things that you can do than just what I showed you here but hopefully you have a better understanding of how to use it now. And remember, you need to expand any text that you're going to modify, and then also, if you can't find your Pathfinder, go to Window and Pathfinder. All right, good luck.